Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video to explain how to install Vegas Pro, uh, really any edition, on an external hard drive. As you see, I have a boot drive, it's my C drive, that's 120 gigs. And as everyone knows, Vegas Pro is huge. So, you know, I only have 35 gigs free. I'm not trying to, in you know, fill up my entire C drive off that. Um, I do have uh, one terabyte secondary drive, and I have 249 gigs. I actually have Vegas Pro already installed. Um, a lot of people use cracks, whatever, to set it up. You know, if that's your choice, that's okay. I'm not going to be linking any cracks or anything, but what I am going to do is show you how one would use it if you're going to install it on a secondary drive, since I see a lot of people doing that, because Sony Vegas is so large. Um, so to start, let's go here. You're going to want to install uh, Sony Vegas Pro. You can just download the trial from uh, the website. doesn't matter. I could include a link to that. Because once you do, you're going to have all these files here. This is basically where it's installed. It's a secondary drive. Um, after you have it installed, you're going to be going, make sure you have in your program files. I have them 64-bit. Make sure you're running you, the 64-bit if you have 64-bit, but Windows, I'm sorry, Sony Vegas Pro also has 32-bit on the 13th edition, I believe on the 12th and 11th also. But with that, you're going to go to your Sony folder, and you're going to see I have a hot link, or basically a shortcut from the external drive to right here. Basically how I did that, though, to be able to take advantage of my uh, secondary drive and be able to use it with my first is I had um, you install Sony Vegas Pro you're gonna have the files part of your files are gonna be installed on your main boot drive which are gonna be under <clears throat> your program files again so this is the reason you know if this if I didn't set up this file right here you wouldn't be able to even patch the file because it's not going to be able to read your external hard drive to know to patch that. So, like this patch right here, I'm sure everyone's familiar with. You're going to not be able to use it if it's that you know, unless you do link it as the way I'm about to show. So, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to go to CMD, make sure you're running as administrator as I am right there. You're going to go you're going to first make sure your files it's in the right area. So we're going to type CD to actually just make this even easier on myself. Just go to Program Files, Sony, and copy, right click, copy address as text, paste that. Now we're in this file. Now from here, what you're going to have to do is make sure everything you go by is 100% right and that you have the link and all your files named properly. So the first thing you're going to type is mklink uh, colon yeah, I'm sorry not colon slash d, my mistake. From here this, is, this part's extremely important you can be parent, uh, parentheses <laughs> quotes Vegas Pro uh, 13th for the edition I have end quote and then you're going to have you're going to go back to where this file is located so as I said since this is going to be on my own my external hard drive it's under the Sony folder and you're going to have you're going to make sure you copy this so whatever you name it on your external hard drive so if you have it as Vegas Pro whatever and then again copy address as text and then quote, paste, end quote, hit enter, and as you see it says cannot create a file when that file already exists, it's because I've done this already to set up my Sony Vegas Pro. Once you have that completed, you could then, and that, you can then go to your patch, right here, run it, actually one second, make sure you run it as an administrator, it's important. It's going to make some strange noises. Give me one sec. I'm actually going to... I don't 
don't understand why these patch programs have the random sounds, but from here you just click patch, wait a few seconds, not going to do anything, as I said, my file is already patched and everything, and you just wait a few seconds, there's not really a time limit, but once you have that done, you then have Sony Vegas full, as I do right here, and uh, that is all, just make sure you um, stay up to date, and uh, like and subscribe, and if you guys have any questions, I will try my best to answer them in the comments, have a good day.